Magandang umaga po muli sa inyong lahat. Good morning and Happy New Year to everyone. Today is the Feast of the Epiphany. It comes from the Greek word Epiphania. Can you say the word Epiphania? Epiphania. It means literally the revelation, the manifestation, the presentation. Kung ikaw ay magdidibu parang ganoon, you are presented to the world. Our responsorial psalm says, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. That is the goal of the Epiphany. The child is being presented to us not only as the Savior of Israel, but of all the world. In our first reading, we heard that. In the second reading, the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, ang sabi doon, the Gentiles will become co-heirs of the kingdom. Who are the Gentiles? The non-believers. So even the non-believers are being called to the feast, to participate in the feast of the banquet of the heavenly kingdom. Tinatawag din natin itong the feast of the three kings. Well, hindi natin alam kung talagang hari. No? Siguro nakuha natin yung hari from the first reading. Because in the letter of Isaiah, it said there, kings will visit the child, the Messiah. And then in our response, all the song is the same. No? Kings from Sheba and Seba will adore him. Pero mga hari pa talaga sila, we do not know. What is clear in the gospel is that they were wise men, mga mago. At sila yung bida ng ating ebanghelyo ngayon. There are three things that I would like to share with you about the Magi. We can learn from the Magi. And what is the first thing? Ito po. The Magi went on a quest not a trip. They went on a quest, not a trip. Minsan yung po ang nakakalimutan natin, ano? pag narinig natin, what the media set out and look for the child, akala natin nag-trip lang sila. Lalong-lalo na kapag narinig natin yung kanta, We three kings of Orient are. Yung image natin, para bang hmm, naganyan-ganyan sila at magbibisita doon sa Bethlehem. Ay, they did not go on a trip. Buwis buhay yung ginawa ng mga mago. Remember, wala po doon public transportation, walang grab, walang aircon bus, there were no lights in the street, there were no hotels along the road. Kung ano yung baon mong pagkain, tubig, pag naubusan ka, hindi mo alam kung saan kukukuha. There were no police along the road, so you are open to violence from, from bad people. So literally, people of biblical times, when they go out on a journey, buwis buhay. At sabi ng mga historians, when biblical people go on a journey, nagpapaalam na sila sa kanilang mga mahal sa buhay because they are not sure if they will be able to come back again. So, I think that is one thing that we should appreciate. The Magi went on a quest, not a trip. Father, what is a quest? Aba, pag sinabi mong quest, ibig sabihin, walang makapipigil sa'yo. You are on a very important journey and you want to see something or someone and nothing and no one will stop you. Yan yung sinasabi ni Don Quixote doon sa Broadway play ng Man from La Mancha. Do you know that? Yeah, impossible. Hindi. Alam niyo yun? Alam niyo yung isasabi ng kanta, To dream the impossible dream. Yun yun eh. To fight the unbeatable foe. Anong sabi ng refrain? This is my quest. Hindi nyo alam niyo naman pala eh. To follow the star. Oh, no, no, no. Yun ang tinutukoy dun eh. The, the quest of the Magi. You should go on a quest, not only a trip. Kaya ang tanong ko po sa atin dito eh, you, you, your, your search for the child, your search for God, is it a trip or is it a quest? 
Alam niya, itong nakaraang mga buwan lang, ano, katatapos lang ng Pasko, lahat ng mga simbahan punong-puno. Hanggang halye, punong-puno ng mga tao. No? Nagsisimbang gabi, siyang na araw, yung iba nga, labing walo pa eh. Dahil anticipated, madaling araw pa. Sabi ko, grabe ka, adik ka sa simbang gabi. Punong-puno ang mga simbahan, pero pagkatapos noon, nasaan na yung mga tao? Nung pagkatapos ng Pasko, wala na, Father. Napag-tripan lang namin eh, ng mga kaibigan namin eh. Trip lang. Don't go on a trip. Go on a quest. Kasi yung trip, seasonal, temporal, panapanahon lang. Pero when you say you go on a quest, it is something that you will do with determination. Jeremiah 29, verse 13. Yung Jeremiah 29, verse 11, alam na alam niyo yun eh, di ba? For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and give you hope. Alam na alam niyo yun. Pero paano natin makukuha yung plano ng Diyos para sa atin? Jeremiah 29, verse 13 will give us the answer. Ang sabi doon, you will search for me and you will find me. Ganun ang epiphany. God will not play hard to get. He wants to reveal Himself to us. Pero merong karugtong eh. Ang sabi po doon, you will search for me and you will find me if you search me with all of your heart. Ayun. Yung trip, hindi yan with all of your heart. Trip, trip lang yan. Pag tinamad ka na, ay ayoko na. But if you are on a quest, nothing and no one can stop you. So again, my question, your search for God, is it a trip or is it a quest? And not only our search for God, you can use that for, for everything that is important in life. Do you want a good marriage? Go on a, an, on a quest, not only a trip. Do you want prosperity in your finances? Do not go on a trip, go on a quest. Do you want to search for knowledge, for wisdom? Go on a quest, not only a trip. Do you want to take care of your health, your body? Go on a quest, not only a trip. I'm, I'm sure lahat sa inyo ngayon, ano ang goal niyo for the new year? Um, hashtag Balik Alindo. Yan ang, yan, ang, yan ang goal ng lahat eh, no? Ang dami ko kasi kinain nung nakaraang holidays. Ayan, ano? Go on a quest, not only a trip. No? Because that is what the Magi are telling us. Okay? Second thing that we can learn from the Magi, if you are going on a quest, look for your gift. Know your gift. Yan ang ginawa ng mga Magi, they know their gifts. And they knew, they knew that they have unique and individual gifts. Ano yung mga gifts nila? Di ba? Gold, frankincense, and mirror. No? Hindi pare-pareho yung kanil mga gifts magkakaiba. And why are they different? Because each gift has a specific purpose. Gold, because it symbolizes the divinity of the child. Frankincense, ginagamit mo yan in worship because the child is the high priest. Mere, ginagamit ang pamburol because the child will be, when, when, when it grows up, he will be offering his life as a ransom for many. So, the Magi knew their gifts. They were unique. They had individual gifts. Dapat ganun din po sa atin. Know your gift. Bakit natin hindi alam yung ating mga gift? Why don't we know or why don't we discover our core gift? Because we always compare or we always complain. No? Ay, bakit siya ganoon? Bakit ako hindi ganito? Bakit siya guwapo? Ako hindi. Bakit siya magaling kumanta? Ako hindi. We always compare. And when you compare, dalawa lang naman ang mangyayari is either you become arrogant or you become insecure. But either way, you will not know your gift. 
Or when you complain, eh, itong gift na nasa akin, ayoko naman ito, bakit ito ang ginawa at ang binigay sa akin? Lord, bakit mo ko ginawang guwapo? Ang hirap. <laughs> Kira po hirap na ako. Yes. Nagpo-complain tayo sa mga gifts na binigay sa akin, but no, know your gift. Because when you know your gift, ah, that will bring us to our third and also important point. Lay down your gift. Lay down your gift. That is also what the Magi did. They did not only know and bring their individual gifts. Ang sabi ng gospel, when they saw the child with Mary, his mother, they laid down their gift. That is important. Because a gift is not a gift unless it is given. A gift is not a gift unless it is laid down. In your life, your life is not a fine. Your life is a gift. Your life may be yours, but it is not about you. No? Mahalaga po yan. Your life is yours, but it is not about you. Makikita mo lang ang kahulugan ng buhay mo kapag na-discover mo na ang buhay mo ay dapat maging regalo. It should become a gift. I remember now the story, you know, a mother and a daughter were walking at the mall. They saw a big Christmas tree, you know, and at the foot of the tree, there were many gifts. Siyempre, mga hindi naman totoong regalo yun, display lang. Ang sabi ng anak niya, Mommy, Mommy, look at those gifts under the tree. Sabi niya, oh, what about? No? It's such a waste. Sabi niya, why? Because they're still under the tree and they were not given. But then, sabi ng nana, you silly, you silly girl, those are only for display. Eh, tama naman yung nana, display nga lang. Pero tama din yung bata. She had good instinct. A gift is not a gift unless it is given away. If it remains under the tree, it will not be a gift. Now, your life. Is your life still under the tree? Yung buhay ko ba ngayon nakatago, nandoon pa rin sa ilalim ng Christmas tree? Maybe this year, as we begin the new year, let us allow the Magi to inspire us. That we may discover that our life is meant to be a gift. And every time, every morning you wake up, imagine yourself with a ribbon on top of your head. And ask yourself, who am I going to bless this day? by offering my life as a gift for others. Epiphany, the Magi went on a quest. Ganon din ang ating gawin. Don't make your life simply a trip. Make it a quest. And then secondly, know your gift, know your uniqueness, and then more importantly, offer your unique gift for the greater glory of God and for the service of our fellow men. Amen. 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 Happy New Year, Paul. Happy New Year.